rave one that we've got in here. And today's video is going to be about community channels. So don't get me wrong, right off the bat, I think community channels is a fantastic idea. I totally agree with it. I like what people do when they it's a true community channel and this is where it comes into play here that I'm going to try and define to me anyway what is a community channel. When I hear the word community as far as Call of Duty gaming, so a community sorry, community channel is people's gameplay that you've never heard of before. First time you click on the channel and there's like ten different people there and it's all fair game. But when it's a community channel, as I say community is all supposed to be like everybody's welcome just give me a gameplay and I'll post it, it's all good. What I don't like about a community channel is when you go, so you come across one and you go, okay, community channel, another opportunity to try and get my stuff out there. So you look at it and then you go, okay, you take, you take a wee look at the description and it said it's okay. If you wish to post your video on this, you have to do this, do this, do this, do this. And you're like, you jump through like five or six fucking hoops before the year. and even then it's not like we'll post your content you have to do that and then once you've done like the four or five six steps then you have to submit your content and you're like jesus christ man i'm fucking <laughs> mi6 over here like, let's go for it but so i mean that puts me off i don't agree with that i mean i can see both sides that's what i'm saying i'm not I can see a community channel wanting to do that because they want to increase their subscriber base which also increases the community channel views but in order to actually go on to the community channel going through all these hoops I mean I've come across the community channels where you had to make sorry subscribe to their Twitter or whatever it is because I don't want to do that like I don't for everybody who doesn't know <laughs> I'm very against like social websites I don't, I, I don't know, I, I, I'll explain it in another, another commentary, but I just don't like it. I don't like the whole, well, I, may, I might do it later when it, if, if I do become to the point where I have to sort of organise and communicate to the people, my subscriber base, like in some sort of for, like format. But just now I don't need to do that and I don't like it. So I don't like the fact that I have to, so <laughs> to uh, bring a video onto this guy's channel, I had to make a Twitter account, and then subscribe to his, and then uh, ask if I can post a video, which I'm not going to do. I like, I'll never do that. I'm <laughs> like, okay, just to post a video, I'm going to have to create an account. No, not going to happen. All well, I do for me the most is me if I like the guy's content, subscribe to his channel, and then ask if you post a video. If he wants me to do like four or five things, not gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. But fuck off. Like that's too much. I mean it is too much. I mean as I say I'm not totally ignorant. I can see the benefits of, of why he does that. Obviously you try to kinda of get this the the bigger the network the better, basically the more people you talk to, so having get people to do this or that and then it just kinda of, it's like a snowball effect but I don't know. I just I will never kind of try to apply to a community channel doing that kind of sort of thing. I mean, to me, communi community channel means just that every is welcome. If you give me a video, I'll submit them, and it's just like a kind of one-two step. There's none of these <laughs> fucking jump, duck, duck, dive. Fucking I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Tell me what you think, but that, I mean that's the way I look at it anyway. And uh, another thing that kind of got me totally way off like gaming, but. Because of like the new year and stuff, and uh, so I have obviously a few phone calls were made, and you know what it's like when it comes to the new year. But I don't do that whole midnight thing because you can take it through to people and they're all wasted. Oh well, <laughs> my friends are so. I always leave it for like a wee bit after. And, uh, so I phoned somebody we were go there. I was like, alright, how you going? Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, blah blah blah, and then. Uh, uh, she's like, oh, you can't blame me, blame me for not coming out because I'm pregnant. And I'm like, boom. <laughs> like, in my head. Like, because that's like, so you, well, apart from, like, exception to the rule, obviously there's these like, younger people out there, like, will have one boy, one person in the class that get pregnant. But see, when you get to, like, middle 20s to, like, kind of going above that age, maybe a bit younger, like, my age, you start to hear people and, like, even your friends, like, oh, uh, I'm pregnant or my girlfriend's pregnant and you're like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> like, back up in the adulthood. Like, my mate, I, mean, I think his daughter's two years old now, but at the time I was like, what? 
it's no fucking way, man. So like, cause because when you see when you're hanging out with somebody when you like you're like 18, so he's like 16 or something, and then you grow up and eventually they find out the guy who's younger than you is like expecting. You're like, whoa, that's serious shit. No, I mean that's life changing, and like I'm not ready for that, not at all. And like I, I spoke to him about it, and he was totally cool. He's like, oh yeah, but I was a I just kind of wait because my bad dad and stuff was like me. I'm, not, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna be a fucking dad? <laughs> Shit! But I mean, I mean, I don't know. I, I suppose each to their own. You know, when you're in the stride. But and that's the thing. It totally blows my mind. So one day you're talking to somebody and you're like, yeah, okay, we're having a pint party, whatever. And then the next day go, okay, I'm gonna be a mum. You're like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not ready for that shit. But, I mean, hey, I feel ready for it. I mean. I mean, no fair dues, I mean, say, when I found her, I was like, congratulations, and you know, I was happy for her and stuff, but it still kind of blows your mind a bit, and that's what I'm saying, I don't know if you've had the kind of same experience when you've grown up, but, I don't know, I, I mean, I always imagined myself with one of those <laughs> dodgy, like, dads, like, I don't know, at the park or something, or picking up for school, where they go, oh, it's the grandparent picking them up, no, no, it's the dad, <laughs> Got like one of those fucking 65 year old kids, like I was like adults with like an 80 year old kid. Like, really? What the fuck? <laughs> but just because I'm not ready, I can't imagine. Like my mum comes on to me every now and again, bless her. <laughs> she asks, she's like, oh, where's my baby's grandchildren? Now I'm like, mum, whoa, hey, step back. <laughs> I'm like, it will happen. I don't know when it will happen, but it will happen. But. <sighs> So I respect of inspiration there. Oh, etch. Anyway, I saw it was a wow ha like blah blah blah. That will happen, but I don't know. I mean I mean I think the most common thing in your days is is a wee bit later on because it's more kind of people tend to be more focused on the creation stuff, but I don't know. But I mean let's like <laughs> let's forget all the grown up uh, kind of stuff and let's focus on it. So I don't know, the next video <laughs> it's, it's such an absurd leap to make. Like, okay, yeah, grown up, uh, serious talk, uh, kids and shit. Okay, games. But anyway, uh, so the next video probably we're going to build. I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe a Far Cry 3 video because that game, by the way, is shit hot. I know I mentioned it before, and I also had to mention it. Is I, I can't even remember. Did I mention it? As I bought it off the the PlayStation Store, but I would not buy that game because PlayStation Store. As a rip off. I'm sorry, but anybody who plays, sorry, pays 60 quid for Far Cry 3 as a moron. <laughs> it was with uh, 12 Days of Christmas, and I got it for 24.99, which is still five quid cheaper than the shops are selling it. So it was a pretty good deal. But that game is amazing. I've only got like three missions and missions and missions to do, and it's so good. The only thing that I don't like about it. I don't know, I might save it, I'm thinking, what I think I'll do is, well, I'll, I'll upload the video, see what I can do, like, about it, but I mean, for the mo I say 90% good, no, 95% good, good, and, uh, like, 5% bad, because it's such a good game, I like the whole thing about it, I'm not going to go into it, but anyway, I say, well, I'm trying to kind of grow up now, I don't really know how to approach the channel, I want to, 100 subscribers as the next goal by 2013, which I think is very humble, you know what I mean, I want 100 subscribers by 2014, sorry, I'm fucking forgetting the years here, but, I, mean, I hope you help me to progress to that goal, I hope you liked the video in the commentary, tell me what you think about the topics I've discussed, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one, bye.